Hello everyone and welcome to Simply Code's YouTube channel. Kaushal this side and I hope you guys are doing well. Today, we'll take you through the CSS box sizing property. In this video tutorial, we are going to explain how CSS box sizing property is used within any HTML element. So, this video is going to be a small one because this box sizing property has only one or two values. So before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have regular updates on multiple programming videos. So if you are a programmer and if you want to learn something new, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and press that bell icon to never miss any updates from Simply Code. So without any further delay, let's start with CSS box sizing property. So CSS box sizing is a property that determines how the width and height of an element is calculated, including its padding and border. Padding and border, we have already been through them when we went through CSS box model. But by default, the box sizing property is always set to content box. So which means that the width and height of an element only includes the content and does not include any padding or border. So CSS box sizing property is different and CSS box model is different. Let me just explain the difference between them. So in CSS, the box model refers to the way that an element is rendering in a web page. It consists of four elements. Right, it has margin, it has border, it has padding and it has content. So the box model is used to calculate the size and position of an element on a web page. If I give you a small example of the box model, so what we have to do is we have to just create a box with, let's say we have a box named, with class named as box. So we are mo we'll move to the style element and here we are going to just use some properties within the box class let's say I'm writing over here height and width will start with so let's say we are giving the height as 300 pixels for this box and same goes for the width as well let's say we are creating a square I'll write here 300 pixels again then we have padding padding as let's say I'm using 20 pixels then we have margin margin I'm using as 20 pixels again and then we have border fine border is going to be let's say uh, one pixel then we'll write here solid and black in color fine so we have to add some content as well let's change the border to two pixels first and let's add some content over here inside the box so let's say i'm writing over here lorem 10 fine okay i have to write here lorem 10 and press enter we have a paragraph so here you can see we have a box fine now what is box model? The box, box model contains four different values. Content, border, margin and padding. So this here is the content. This paragraph we have is the content. Then we have padding. Padding is the distance between the content and the border of the element. So here you can see we have a border, black colored border, right? So border is quite visible and the distance between the content and the border defines is what padding is. So this is padding. And talking about margin, margin is the outer distance. So from the outer border till the next element or towards the end of the page, whatever the distance is, we are going to say that this is margin. So if you want to know about it more, just go to inspect elements. And here you will see. So here you can see. This is the whole box, right? So this is the padding, then we have the border and then we have the margin. And let me just reduce the size of this or let me just reduce the size of this fine so here you can see we have a box and let me just make it a little yeah so we have this responsive screen okay we'll have to find that particular element so here you can see we have a we have this fine so here you can see the outer part is the margin then we have the border so border is not completely visible because it's quite thin right we only have two pixels border then we have the green part which is the padding and then at the end we have the blue part which is the content so we have this content inside our box as well fine so this is what box model is now i'll close this inspect element 
I'll reduce the size and here you can see we have this box model so I hope you guys must have got a good idea about box model now the box sizing property so we are going to talk about box sizing property so the box sizing property in CSS specifies how the total width and the height of an element should be calculated so by default the width and height of an element includes its content only as we have discussed in the definition content border and padding so however if you set the box sizing property to border box so border box is the value fine the width and height of an element will include its content padding and border fine so the main difference between the box model and box sizing is that the box model refers to the overall structure of an element in terms of its margin border padding and content while the box sizing property determines the how the width and height of an element should be calculated so if you want to know the difference so here you can see we have a box fine so we have height width and let's just remove margin and padding so here you can see this is what a normal box will look like uh, let me just reduce the size to 200 pixels because we are going to create another box so yeah now you can see we have a square which is 200 pixels there's no padding there's like padding plays a vital role right so there's no margin as well from the left side or from the up top side you can see now what we are going to do is we are going to copy this over from here we are going to paste it here we are going to change the name to box one so here you can see we have another paragraph now what we'll do is we'll copy this part as well and we'll write here box one so here you can see we have two boxes fine now what we'll do is we'll include some properties over here let's say I'm writing padding as 50 pixels fine save it so here you can see the box size increased automatically because now the padding is 50 pixels so every problem like these problems we face right the box sizing property where we have to define everything can be solved by using one property which is the box sizing property now what we'll do is we'll just write over here box sizing border box content box is the default value border box we have changed it save it and here you can see the difference so this is the same example like here you can see we have a box now and it's different from the normal box so th this property does not play a vital role like it will it won't make your web page look a lot more attractive but people generally use it like developers use it because many developers want all the elements on their web page to work this way so if I'm writing border box here as well for the box sizing property and save it so here you can see now the padding and everything will be calculated automatically if I remove the padding from here save it again so here you can see it's there like the box is different now fine just go through this example like this save it now so here you can see what a normal box will look like without the um, box sizing property and the next one is with the box sizing property now there's not too much of difference but still the second box look a little different right so here you can see the width and height we gave here to both the boxes is exactly the same but the box with box sizing property it aligned itself accordingly right as per the border box now if I increase the size to 500 pixels and let's see if it's responsive or not so here you can see we have a box so here you can see this box is also not responsive so the border box so box sizing property comes with a little benefit but developers as I already mentioned many developers want all their elements to be like this on this way be like this way so this is what box sizing property in CSS is so it has one value border box the default value is always content box and if you want to al apply this property to all the elements on your web page so what you have to do is you have to just remove it from here just go here use the asterisk sign and just write box sizing as border box every element will have this property now fine so here you can see the change over here in inside the box you must have seen the change right 
so that's it for box sizing property guys we all we have already discussed what this property is how is it different from box model so it will be easy for you if you know everything about the box model because box model can allow you to make your web page according to you not according to any property or anything so the box model plays a vital role everywhere so i hope you guys must have got a good idea about the css box sizing property if you still feel that we have missed out on any important topic or any important point regarding the box sizing property then you can put it down in the comment section below and we'll definitely try to help you out or try to answer your queries so that's all for this video guys see you in another one with some new topic until then keep coding and stay tuned to simply code thank you <laughs>